Hey guys, this is James. This is Brad. The Petway Family Farmstead. Thanks for coming out to the channel today. Well, I guess you might be able to call this a mail call. We're here at the local post office. See the flag in the background? I don't know if you can see the words or not. Stick with us and see what we've got here. If you listen very carefully, folks, you can hear what we came to get. Look at that. It's a bunch of chickens. sun out here just filming with my phone don't know how good you can see in there but they are anxious to get out all right guys so two reasons i'm giving this shot one so you can hear how precious they sound they're cute look like little furry peeps like the easter bunny peeps the easter chick peeps but um also we get our these are meat birds these are um cornish cross and uh we get them from bob's biddies down in south georgia we've always had good luck with them and we consider that a local hatchery we're in georgia as well and they're in georgia and they are um one of the most inexpensive hatcheries we found um i don't want to throw prices out on the website but i um, go to bobsbiddies.com and uh, you can see how it's spelled here go to bobsbiddies.com and uh, take a look at uh, take a look at their chicks and all their selections that they have down there. But listen to that cute little sound. And if you've got a good look at them, and you'll see them later. It's amazing that they're so cute when they're this age, as opposed to how they look when they're full grown eight weeks later and uh, ready for freezer camp. <laughs> all right, guys, you should be able to hear the 50 chickens over here in the passenger seat next to me. They're steady talking, telling me they want some water. If you look back over my left shoulder here, wave Landon. Landon's in his car seat back here in the back seat. Now these 50 Corners Cross meat chickens, they're actually not mine. I actually picked these up from the uh, from the post office and I'm delivering them out to my buddy. So um, they got theirs real early and uh, we're taking them out there to them. So hang out with us and uh, we'll show you who they are and where we're going. You guys will know exactly who they are. Most of you are subscribed to them already. If you are not, click the link below. These guys are very entertaining and uh, you'll love them to death. Uh, good folks, heck of a lot of content, heck of a lot of farming and a heck of a lot of animals. And uh, some of our bigger supporters and have, have uh, got us a lot of subscribers and have really supported us since the beginning. So um, check these guys out, we're almost there. All right, y'all, well, you may recognize this particular brooder. We are at Shane and Kim's place, Kenfolk Farm of Georgia. Shane has an awesome setup here. Shane works night shift, sleeps during the day. So for the post office to call him in the morning, have him come pick up his chicks and him to try to get the chicks in here, does not work out well. So that's why I told him I'd be happy to pick them up and come over here and get the beaks dipped in water. And then I told him I'd shoot him a text so when he woke up, he'd know they were out here. All right, so Shane's got a good light for everybody to see. Brought the chicks inside so that they don't go back out the door. Shane cautioned me to make sure we shut that door because apparently he's learned the hard way. They'll scoot right back out. He's got a heat lamp set up here and he's got an awesome heat plate set up over here. So they got plenty of places to stay warm. We're gonna dip their, dip their beaks in the water here. And then they'll go from there. All right, guys, you ready? Look at there. Look at how cute. I like these. Hang on, let me, let me. I got it. All right, push your head down. Yeah, all you gotta do is touch the beak in it. And then they'll know where the water is, okay? Well, guys, Mr. Shane woke up, and he's actually down here holding the camera for me. I told y'all I forgot my <laughs> I forgot my tripod, or I didn't forget it, but they called me when I was unexpected, so, so Shane showed up. Ah, 
<laughs> he volunteered to hold the camera so we can get good shots of landing down here doing this. And Shane, I was staying earlier. It's amazing how cute these things are versus what they look like when they're eight weeks old. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> how cute they are when they're babies. Yeah, I thought I heard, the, I thought I'd left the radio on. I said, I hear something outside. I said, maybe I left the radio on. I figured me would be barking. She's wagged her tail. She ain't barking me. Yeah, and she, she wanted me to come right. in. She acted like she's, well, you don't get too close to that fence yeah. stuff. Yeah, she won't come back. That right. well, she knows about that wire. Here, let's turn this around. Watch your step. They are everywhere now. Yeah, remember, you can't get up. <laughs> You know, Bob, I love their customer service. He called me again this morning and told me we tracked it. They left, it left Atlanta on a nine, uh, and he said it had to go to Noonan and down there. He said, listen, most people put apple cider vinegar in their water. Yeah. And he said, and if y'all have, don't worry about it. He said, but I want to give you a, an old timer's trick. He said that we do. And if y'all are interested, you know, y'all do it too. He said, we take, in a quart size, if you use quarts, a uh, teaspoon of sugar. He said, the same sugar that you sweeten your tea with or your coffee. Or a spoon of sugar, a normal spoon. I said, really? He said, he said yeah, that'll do. He said, and then we switch to apple cider vinegar later. I said, okay. He said, that'll do more to rehydrate them than anything. Exactly. He said, after the meal. He said, that'll do more to rehydrate them. He said, the apple cider vinegar. He said, that's good to stop, you know, the, yeah. the, you know, he said, that's good for your germs and the stuff like he said, but to rehydrate them after you get any chicks in, he said, the, the sugar does better. Hmm. Look at them. They want that water. <laughs> what you got? What's name? Landon. Here's Mr. Shane. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for bringing these birds out. You don't know how much I appreciate it. Oh, man, we... You don't know how much. This right here makes it more than worth it right here, Shane. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, we appreciate all you've done for us, but this right here makes it more than worth it. <laughs> he's having a ball. That's right. He's had a blast since he turned them loose. He hasn't turned them loose since he turned them loose. <laughs> I, I need to help Shane to give you some ducks to take with you. Let's roll some ducks. We want some. When we get our house done, we'll take you up on it. But by then, you'll probably have something figured out with the ones you got. We'll get some eggs from you and incubate them. That's the old. All right, baby. You ready? got to keep your feet low to the floor, remember? We'll get out here, guys, and, and talk to you here again in just a second. I want to show you all a little... A little fur ball scurrying around. Guys, well, we just wrapped up in uh, getting the chickens cut loose. Came over here to Shane's garden. Shane gave me some, uh, gave us some elderberry cuttings, two different varieties. We're gonna go home and get them rooted out. And um, guys, this, like I said, this is Shane from Kenfolk Farm. Tell us <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Thank you, James, so much. James bought my birds. To, I'll be putting out here a video here as soon as he leaves. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, we're Kim Folk Farm. We raise a lot of birds. Uh, we have a couple of huge gardens, another one in the back. We do, uh, I got Muscadine Vineyard I've been working on. I think it's 260 plant Muscadine Vineyard. Uh, just busy all the time, raising my own food. Uh, it's a farm, Kim Folk Farm. It's a beautiful farm. I, I really appreciate that, thanks. But uh, just out here doing our thing. We got chickens and ducks and, and now we have our meat chickens. Thanks so much. I really appreciate that. He just, I heard him out back. I was asleep. I heard him out back. I said, Hey, my birds are here. <laughs> birds are here. That's I was pretty excited. <laughs> so Landon's down there running around playing somewhere, but guys, Shane has a beautiful place. Check him out on Kenfolk Farm. You won't be disappointed. He, he's a heck of an entertainer and puts out some great content. So we love you guys. Hit that notification bell and subscribe. Shane's link will be below. Ken Folks Farm of Georgia. Yeah, y'all subscribe. That's Just right. an awesome guy. <laughs> we love y'all.